I also want to take a moment to send our thoughts to the incredible people of North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and everyone else affected by Hurricane Florence. The federal government has dispatched nearly 20,000 federal and military personnel to assist in the response and recovery effort. These are incredible people. Every relevant federal resource is marshaled to help those in need. Many lives have been saved already. I just want to finish that by saying our administration is in constant contact with local and state authorities, and we will not rest until that job is done and done perfectly. Uh, I just want to thank all of the uh, first responders, the FEMA folks, and uh, everybody else involved, including law enforcement. They have been incredible. We wish they didn't stay, but they stayed, and uh, they're going in and they're saving their lives. A lot of lives have been saved, so I want to thank them very, very much. We appreciate it. Others on the island are so thirsty, they're forced to drink from the creeks. Proof, Mejia says, that the U.S. treats Puerto Ricans like second-class citizens. Friday in the capital, the mayor of San Juan appealed to President Donald Trump, do more, now. We are dying, and you are killing us with the inefficiency. If the recovery seems slow, the president says Puerto Ricans should blame the country's poor infrastructure and long-standing financial problems. So I am done being polite. I am done being politically correct. I am mad as hell. That didn't go over well with the president. Today, he tweeted from his golf club, suggesting that the mayor was being ordered by Democrats to be nasty to Trump. He accused Cruz of poor leadership, saying Puerto Ricans want everything to be done for them. To kick fellow citizens when they are down is shameful. I'm the only member who is a Puerto Rican American citizen who sits in this committee. So since I don't have the pre President Trump uh, in front of me, I just would like for you to let him know how shameful, shameful, shameful.